Laura Galindo here with Lance Blanks. Lance, let's take a look at the Texas overtime win against UT Arlington. Early on, though, the Mavericks were really controlling the flow of this game by mucking it up. Oh, yeah, they mucked it up all right, Lowell. I thought it was a game of catch us if you can, Longhorns, because this Arlington team, they took over and took over early, diving on the floor like that, going after loose balls, never looking at a shot that, or never not taking a shot they didn't like. These guys had control early. So the controversial three there from Kevin Hervey, they ruled it was a two, couldn't back and reverse it, even though it was a three-pointer. With the game that went to overtime, in some ways, that was a factor. As far as the Texas freshman, Kevin Mack, had a solid performance, but that was the play, the dunk from Kerwin Roach that really turned it around. Oh, and that was the, oh yeah, we can catch you. We're gonna come at you big time, because I thought this play, not only the finish and the dunk, which we'll see all season long, that ignited this Texas Longhorn team, and they came back storming in the second half, led by that young man right there, Isaiah Taylor. He was aggressive, didn't matter, zone, no zone. I'll get through him, I'll take the hit, I'll finish plays, but then it turned into a punch match and a counter punch match because it was tit for tat all the way to the finish line, Lowell. It was a fun game. Javon Felix and Isaiah Taylor, 31 of their 39 in the second half and in OT. But as always, for every move that Texas made, UTA had an answer. Yes, they did, and Texas' answer was right there. It was Isaiah. They facilitated just about everything they could through Isaiah. It got to a point where they got the ball out of his hands, but guess what? They found an aggressive Lambert deep behind the three-point arc, and then they shared it with another young freshman named Davis from the corner. Bam! And that was the game, Lowell. Texas wins in OT, 80-73.